Good morning, Tony and Rose Kitchen. I have sent you a, a video how to make sira. I showed you how I pressed it down. Have a look at it now. See how high it is? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Close to an hour in the microwave, as I told you, to heat the microwave, but don't heat it up when you had this in the microwave before. Now I'll take it out, and i show you what to do. See the flour? I put some flour, it doesn't get stick. See that? How easy to take it out? Look at that. Now, what you need to do now, this is a big job. Now the big job coming up. You need to put flour on the bench, like this. Okay, this is very big, the kilo, so I'm going to cut half, okay, just cut half. You can put how much flour you want after, okay. Now, what you do, you're, you, you fold it like this, and you see it, like that, look at that, see, that's all right, it's only a bit of black some here, and then you roll it like this, I'm going to make two, okay. Two from one kilo. You fold it like that, round it up, pull it, doesn't matter, round it, okay, pull. You can pull slowly, slowly, like that. Now, this is the Maltese Tira I show you, okay, so what I do now, I do this, like that, okay, pull it more. You can squash it, you can pull it like this, see, like that. Now you round it. You round it together, but I, I don't want to make it too small, so I'll try to make it big. Round it, put the edges together, press them hard, press them hard. Now, I got this mat that you can put in the oven, if you haven't got that, by the uh, by the uh, baking paper, get them round, put it in a tray like this, okay, put the oven on, heat it up for 10-15 minutes on full, okay, heat it up, so I put it like that, just want to wipe off here a bit, now what you do here, I'll show you, that's the Maltese Ftira. Okay, I'll show you. There you are. I get the knife. I cut a few slices like that. One, two, three, four. Okay, cut them like that. Four, two, okay, like that. Now, if you want a Maltese Tira, you must uh, spread some flowers on top like that on top of the pastry after you cut it, okay? Okay, just rush some flour like that and I put another one. I was going to put some rolls, but I put another tira, but this one is bigger, okay? This one is much bigger, okay? You see, it doesn't matter. I know you can make them both big, you know, into different dish. Now, when I heat the oven, I need to rest them. I need to rest this until they puff up again, okay? And the pastry is absolutely beautiful. You shouldn't go wrong if you do the pastry exactly what I ask you. If you heat the, uh, the microwave for 40, 50 seconds, you know, put it in the microwave after, with the microwave off, okay? Put it in there, and you'll be all right. And then... You roll it like that, let it rest again, this one is going to be much thicker. Press the end, press it properly, put it in the dish, in the tray, like that, you know, like this. See, this one is going to be much higher, much higher. It's okay, my importage. So you flatten it a bit, like that, put a couple of knife, cut it. Like that, like that, okay, cut it, don't worry, just cut a bit of slice, 
get a bit of flour, put it on top, okay, and that will become like Maltese Ftira. Now, with this, when you bake it in the oven, 240, it might take 20 minutes, it might take half an hour. The time I will tell you after. But, on the middle shelf, bake this, and the bottom shelf put a dish with water, hot water, so the steam will give them a bit of boost to rise up, you know, when you're baking them, okay? This is Tony and Rose Kitchen from Australia. May God bless you. May you do a good job. You can do a good job if you do exactly what I said. You shouldn't go wrong. I will show you how they bake after. Maltese Ftira, made by Tony and Rose Kitchen in Australia. How about that? You like it? I like it. God bless you. And I really like, by the way, I really appreciate it. I really like it from the bottom of my heart to thank the president of the council, community, Maltese Community Council, for inviting me to do a demonstration. But unfortunately, I'm a bit... Uh, hesitating. I wish I could come, but because I lost my wife, I feel shy to do it, to be by myself there. But I, from the bottom of my heart, I really like to thank the President of the Community Council of Victoria for inviting me to do a demonstration. It's not because I want to refuse, it's because at the moment I'm still hurt without my wife, and I, 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 just, I just can't do it, that's all. But I apologize from my heart, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Tony and Rose Kitchen, God bless you all. Keep, keep, keep learning, and keep strong. God bless you.